My bad. Continuing on. Wait a minute. They're leaving. Wait a minute. Let me get you sitting up here. Hold up. Uh, continuing on. I feel like you about to fall again. Hold up. Tilt you back. Continuing on. There we go. My bad. They just left. Carmen. Where did I leave off at? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm irked that they just, um, came to get the TV to take it to be fixed. And if they can't fix it, they'll, in home, what, whatever, if they can't fix it, they'll replace it. You know, that's what that was. My bad, again, it screwed me off. Pissed them off that, um. Carmen is, all right, I, me dating, that's where I left off at, thank God. When I want to go out, I may want to chill with her at the crib, because she like watching all um, reality shows. That's my reality TV show person. She loved to shop, so when I want to go shop, yo, when you, like, you feel like hitting them all this weekend, or you busy. And we spend a whole two days together. Our whole one day at the mall turned into us going to dinner or lunch and then the mall. And then we done made other plans while we out buying clothes. Or we can wear this. Or let's go out tonight. Let's find something to wear out tonight. But then we'll spend the night and we'll separate sometime the next day. You know what I mean? So, like, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I see Carmen. Like, this is what I see for Carmen. At this age, being single for two years prior to this relationship with the fiance, I see Carmen meeting the woman and getting to know her, going out on dates, you know what I mean, chilling. You meet another woman, y'all do the same thing. That's your way, like you're a boss. She's a boss. She's a. She could be a boss. You know what I mean? She has potential to be a boss. Like when you see those wealthy men, right? The millionaires. They calling the shots. It's their way. It's who they want, when they want, how they want you. They're buying an outfit they want to see you in. You're not picking out the outfit. They pick out the whole outfit from earrings and down to shoes. What they want to see you and have it laid out for you. Have it in a box. Deliver it to your house. That's for you. You don't even know where you're wearing it to. you just like, damn, that's a beautiful gown. Yeah, that's some boss moves. I want to see Carmen pull that off. Do that. Do that. Boss up. Boss up. You know what I mean? Um, not looking for love, wearing your heart on your sleeve. These women going run with that. I see Carmen like these women look going to look at her like she's Jay Z. They're going to look at her like she's uh, Steve Harvey. You know what I mean? Like she Tyler Perry. Look. Why did I just name a bunch of men? Because she's a stud. She's strapped. Come on, she wear the harness. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm going to name men. But that's how they looking at her. She's a celebrity in their eyes. Why are you looking for love? Like, I mean, and that don't mean celebrities can't get love. But when it happens, it will happen. Stop trying to force it to happen. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. You can't stop it from happening. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you can't figure out why you think about this man, you ain't even attracted to his butt like that. Still, you want to spend time with him. Yeah. Nah. When they hit me up on some, what you doing Wednesday, I'm like, oh, I'm unavailable Wednesday. How about Thursday? I'm calling the shots. I'll be sitting here Wednesday. Now I can't put no new videos on the media because they might see it. I got to put old stuff on the media. So I can't, you know, so my excuses, I had to stay in algorithm. Yeah. Nah, man. 
I'm calling these shots. That's what I want to see with Carmen, a boss. I want to see her boss up. I'm telling you now, this relationship with this fiance is not going to work. This fiance who don't like her mouth without the dentures, who don't like her mouth with the dentures, is not going to marry Carmen. This woman is going to uh, run with her red bottoms. <laughs> She's going to run with her red bottoms and that Carmen brought, of course. And, um, yeah. But while Carmen is looking for a house in Texas, but you just brought this house in Georgia. Like, that don't make sense, man. Stop moving so fast. Lesbian, stop. Slow down. Look around. Realize she'll be there tomorrow. If she's there today, she'll be there tomorrow. You ain't got to go out your way. She'll stay. If, if she want to stay, you can't make her. But you will push her away. You know what I mean? Because she see that you sweet. She see that you saw, so she gonna get all she can get from you and she out. That's how it go with any relationship. A person see that you soft or you a pushover, you know what I mean? They like, oh, I don't wanna be with this person, but I am gonna get all I can get more benefit from this while I'm here. Then I'm out because she a sucker or she soft, she weak. Nah, man, people don't want that. People, oh, and then in that same live, in that same live, that night, that lie that when her daughter, Carmen's daughter, was putting their business out there, that lie. That same night, Carmen was like, um, somebody asked Tay when she going home. Carmen was like, just know that when she leave, I'm leaving too. That's all that mattered. Okay, so wait a minute. Y'all were in Texas together, and y'all flew back to Georgia together. And when she go home, you're going to fly back to Texas with her. So basically, y'all live together now. Don't know women want that. Women don't want nobody up their backside like that. That's a push-off. That's a turn-off. You know what I mean? Like, that's a turn-off. Tay said, the fiance said, I didn't even want to start this page. I didn't ask for none of this. I didn't ask for this. I'm getting death threats. I got people playing on my phone, playing on my family phone. Like, people. I didn't ask for this. And you made me start that page talking about chefing. Like, I, I, I didn't want to do this. But you're doing it. She didn't make you do it. She she may have put it on your phone. You chose to go live. That woman is in love with you, so she think. That woman would do anything for her at this point. So again, she chose to go live. So you can say you didn't want to do it. She made you do it, but no. You chose to do it. She didn't make her do it. You know what I mean? She got the fame, starting her platform. Um... Got stars and all that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything but ads. Um, that's only because she don't know how to get it started. Yeah. And she going to run with her platform and all that she got from Carmen, uh, that material stuff and in her heart. And at that point, I hope Carmen be like, yo, I'm done with these relationships. I'm not trying to force a relationship when it happened. It'll happen until it happened. I'm just going to do me. You, you, you going to see me with a different one. Every time you turn around, you're going to see me with a different chick. But why we got to see you with a different chick? If you a chef, what you going to put on the grill? You going to saute her butt? You know what I mean? Like, yo, fall back. That's crazy. Um, She said, Carmen said her daughter started sauces. Her daughter, Carmen, daughter selling sauces. Making sauces. The best sauces in the world. I I've never knew anything about sauces. The, the woman doing doing sauces. I never knew of these sauces. This woman then Carmen and started her daughter's page and all this selling sauces. Um, this is new to me. That's complete. I, wow. Darius. Speaking of selling sauces, let's talk about Darius, cause I I know y'all know that he's all in the media. Um, his ex-boyfriend speaking up, his ex-lover speaking up about 15 years ago when they were together. Darius just kept saying, I'm going to get famous. I'm, no, I'm going to get rich some kind of way. I'm going to get rich. I'm going to get rich. That was his goal. And it turned out they saying that 
um, Darius's score with the Better Business Bureau, the BBB, is the letter E for elephant, E for echo. Yeah, that's bad. That's poor. This man, they said Darius Cooks ripped his platform off. They said them people ordered cookbooks that they never received. Yeah, I remember the video. Darius was in like this warehouse with boxes of boxes of boxes stacked up. Darius 6'3 or 6'4. He a tall dude. I think Darius is 6'4. Boxes stacked up taller than him all around the wall. He said, this is all your cookbooks. The UPS, USPS are not doing their job. They supposed to be picking these books up and delivering them to y'all. It's their fault y'all haven't received your books. I gotta go back to Carmen about this one. Now, this is the same live when they were out on the Super Bowl cooking for the homeless. Now, my followers told me about this one. They said, yo, I thought Carmen sold her, made, sold her own lemonade. I said, she do. She said, then why? Shout out to Dorothy for this one. I just talked to Dorothy the other day to her lying behind her. Dorothy was like, Dorothy was like, yo, she was at that store, a big box store. She couldn't say if it was Sam's or what. She said she was at her and that Karina lady was at a big box store. She brought four or five big big old cans of country time lemonade and um, all these big things of sugar. Yet, now that was the live before they went to cook for the homeless. Okay. Yet, while they was cooking for the homeless, they said they were selling the ooey peach lemonade and all watermelon lemonade they named all Carmen flavored lemonades so did you mix the country time with yours to make it stretch you know what I mean like what was that a backup or what because you didn't mention nothing but your lemonade you know what I mean get the followers Facebook seen her at a big box store buying big old cans of country time lemonade and sugar but you sell your own lemonade okay now one of, another one of my followers, J. Will, was like, yeah, I said J. Will. Y'all know J. Will. J. Will was like, um, J. Will was like, her peach lemonade tastes just like the peach lemonade at Walmart. The Walmart peach lemonade, I ain't, I don't shop at Walmart. There's no Walmart in my area. Haven't been to Walmart since like 2001, no lie. So, I don't know anything about that, but he said, yeah, they her, her peach lemonade is good. It tastes just like that peach lemonade. We want to know what it tastes like. He said the name of it. I don't remember the name of it, though. He said um, it wasn't like some, some brand name I've ever heard of, though. He said it tastes just like that. But Darius has, is people saying that Darius stole their recipes and changed like a seasoning, changed one thing in it. You know what I mean? And called to his recipe in his cookbook. Um, the biggest thing about Darius that um, TRS are reporting, because this is TRS um, reported, covered this story interview his ex boyfriend and all that stuff. TRS report that Darius, I forget the term they called it, but when the comments when he don't like the comments or when you disagree with him on his platforms he shame you publicly he has friends that work with like i don't know but they find out your name your address your phone number all your personal contact yeah and they put darius disclose that stuff on social media and put out this person's name, their social security number, their birth dates, all that stuff, address, phone numbers on social media. Like 50 people he's done this to. Wow. Wow. Social media. Like, wow. You want to get rich? You have a platform. Yeah, you put the, the information out because they don't agree with you. Yet, yet, what goes around comes.
was around him, he did it to all uh, them people who stole from them people. So Carmen stole from him. Right, right, bang, bam. Moving along. Get this. He, Aries put out his platform information when things don't go his way, right? And guess what they did? His new lover, they found out his name, his address, his employers, his family, and they played on his phone. They sent the death threats. They called his job. They got him fired. His relationship has ended because of Darius. You know what I mean? Like, it, stuff backfired. We got to treat people how we want to be treated. It's crazy, man. Like, you wouldn't expect that from these people. Now, this next person... It um it almost pains me to say this after what I watched last night. After what I watched last night, it definitely pains me to say what I'm about to say. But <sighs> Roll the Young does it too. <laughs> and I gotta say that's the only thing I don't like about Rhoda is that she gets childish. Um They're businesses, though. They're businesses, though, so it don't bother me. You know what I mean? It don't make my blood boil. You know, it don't make me say I'm not watching Rhoda no more. But when Rhoda, something don't go her way with a business, she quick to put their phone number out and, like, play on their phone, y'all. And these adults on Facebook are quick to play on someone's phone. And um, speaking of Rhoda, just last night, y'all, just last night, just last night, God is so good. Sunday night, if you missed this live, please go back on Rhoda's page and check this out. Rhoda Young reporting live, man. God is good. A woman, a divorcee. Married to her ex-husband, 12 years, seven children from the marriage with her ex-husband, divorcee. Um, she had paperwork from the court saying that her ex-husband was found guilty for abusing four of the three children. Yet, the judge gave custody of all seven children to the father. The father that abused four of the seven children. And during her weekend visit yesterday, she had to return the children back to her ex-husband by 7 o'clock. Her seven children were hysterically complaining they're not going back. They don't want to go back. You're going to hear them roll the interview and the children off camera. You're going to hear the children saying why they don't want to go back. How you can't physically, like the... The child had to have been like seven saying, you can't physically make me go back. I'm staying in the car. You can't make me get out the car. I'm staying in the car. I'm not going back to my dad's house, right? The five-year-old was saying how his grandmother choked him with medicine, held him down while his uncle poured the bottle of medicine down his throat. And he didn't want to take it. He looked like he was choking on the medicine. You know what I mean? Had her leg over his neck to hold, like, to keep his head up. Yeah, that's what the five-year-old said. The police, the, the mother of the children called 911, not knowing what to do, you know, um, not wanting to return her children to their father after this, yet not wanting to have to go to jail for not returning the children to their father. You know, for breaking the court order. She called Rhoda, and she called 911, so Rhoda's out there, of course, 911, the, the sergeants, the lieutenant, the captains, everybody out there, they call CPS out there, the power of Rhoda's platform. Long story short, y'all gotta check it out, long story short, the platform and called the precinct, talk, talking to the captains, talking to the dispatchers, talking to the captain. They told the mother to take her children home. The power of 
with social media, man. Yeah. Shout out to Rhoda and her platform. The only thing I have, the only thing I don't like about, like, that's like, I can't even, like, that's. One woman, Rhoda, got uh, about two months ago, the woman ceiling in her house she was renting. She had like five or six kids herself. This woman and her children's father, yeah. Ceiling caved in. Got the kids over there sitting in the corner. A big hole in the ceiling, water everywhere. Rode the platform, raised that woman $7,000. That fast. $7,000, hands down, no questions asked. Um, the power of social media. Rhoda saved seven children from going back to their abusive father, grandmother, and uncle. That's using your platform for good. Unlike Darius, use his platform to scam, harass, and bully. The very people that made him a millionaire. TSR talked about all his restaurants that shut down all his failed businesses from him. For the food, like the food truck, the the mobile bakery, <laughs> like all his failed businesses and all that. Like that's a good episode to watch if you Google um, you can watch it on YouTube as TSR. If you pull up TSR, Darius Cooks, TSR slash Darius Cooks. Um, yeah, check that out. That's a good one. Um, more social media news. Shout out to Petunia. Shout out to Petunia for being a real one. Shout out to Petunia for being forgiving. Shout out to Petunia for having a last laugh. Um, just... Uh, a week ago, I'm listening to Tonya on live saying he going to be on both platforms. He going to be on Petunia versus Reba and the Rebuild. And I'm like, you went back to Reba? You went back to the man that kicked you off the platform that you made what it is today? Huh? Um, You went back to the man that chose a fan slash follower over you, blood slash business partner. Hmm. You went back to the person that gave you the boot after you wiped their behind, after you cleaned their behind. Yes, when Reba was as big as he used to be, Reba is no secret. Reba said that him, Reba said that his mother and Petunia wiped his backside when he could. Yeah, Petunia said it in front of him too. When he cut, when Reba could not wipe his own backside, his mother and Petunia wiped his backside. I would be so grateful to you for that. You actually, and you're so much younger than him. Like Tony's so much younger than him. Like to do that for me, I'm forever grateful for that. Like I could have bed sores or. Um, rash, uh, maggots, you know what I mean? Because I couldn't do it. And you didn't leave me to get bed sores and um, rashes and maggots. You took care of that. And I treat you like this? Well, so you said he was going back. He went back, he chilled with Reba, had dinner, blah, blah, blah. Reba cooked for him, made something I don't remember. Chill, busted up with his cousin. Cool. That fast, since Reba and Tonya then tried to, you know, come closer. The manager 
putting Reba out there saying, saying, saying she going to sue Reba for over $30,000. The manager, the Harris chick, is saying that Reba ran off of her more than $30,000. I talked about that. It's not the manager's job to pay for studio time. It's the record label's job. The woman's not a record label. She's the manager. The manager is not supposed... That's not the manager's job. The manager's supposed to find you jobs. The manager's supposed to keep you booked up. Let me find Reba some... Some meet and greets. Let's, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's find some, some this and let that manager pay for studio time. That manager pay for the limo ride to and from the studio. Studio time is mad expensive. You go in the studio, it's nothing in there but equipment. You got to pay for the engineer. You got to pay for everything in there. Even down to the bathroom being clean. You drink water, that bottle of water costs you $18. I'm not lying. That's how it go. The manager pay for all that stuff. The manager pay for the t-shirts. All of them t-shirts. The manager pay for that. Reba collected the money from the sale of those shirts. The manager pay for that. Um, the manager pay the, the, the gifts are gifts. I'm not mentioning gifts. The manager um, like those things those things cost money. That's like, again, that's not a manager's responsibility. That woman was stupid because she ain't know what her responsibility as a manager was. <laughs> um, I said in my videos previously about the Reba and manager and Petunia shenanigans as it was hitting the fan back then. I said, you know, how the manager went wrong. That's not her responsibility to pay for that stuff. And I guess she's realizing it now. Um, like every money Reba was to make, that manager was supposed to get her money first. So Reba is not supposed to be making any money until the manager get her money back. Yet Reba said that their contract, Reba contract with the manager say that they can split, they can part ways. They can end that contract at any time. Either one of them are ready with no penalties. That's wrong. That should never be in the contract. Not that type of contract. Not that type of contract. There's supposed to be all type of clauses. This clause is supposed to have like six clauses under it. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Wow. Dumb. Yeah. The manager is so mad at Reba. The manager is accusing Reba of molesting his nephew. That's always at his house. Now, everybody know or should know that ain't true. I don't like Reba. It's no secret that I don't like that man. I don't like Kendrick. I don't like Kendrick. I've said it a thousand times. I don't like Kendrick. For many reasons. I'm always going to keep it a trail with you. I'm not going to throw salt in that man's name because I don't like him. I don't believe like, come on. Sure, nah. But that's hitting the fan. She's on her personal page attacking Reba, coming at Tweenie still. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you know her name, then check her page out because that's going down over there. Any more social media news before I go? I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, the biggest social media news is that I started a new YouTube channel. I started this channel a year ago, maybe two years ago. I got to look and see. I think I started this channel two years ago. That's insane. And I recently made the old videos private <laughs> and started and brought the channel back to life. That channel is I'm a female sneakerhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a female sneaker. Like, I love sneakers. I love sneakers. Let me take my shoe off. Hold up. Uh, ah, wait a minute. I love sneakers. And this is just in the house. You know what I mean? But I um, 
started the female sneakerhead channel. Every two weeks I buy a pair of sneakers. Why not? Why not put them on it media? You know what I mean? And that name of that channel is Shy Kicks. S H I space K I C K S. Shy Kicks. So every two weeks I'm uploading a pair of sneakers, a new pair of sneakers. And it's different because when I'm in the store shopping for them, like I'll, I'm making videos as I'm picking them up, blah, blah, blah. I'm wearing them, showing you me wearing them. If I get reactions to people, you know, if people give me their reaction to my sneakers, I'm getting that on camera as well. You know what I mean? So it's real interactive. Definitely check out that channel. It's um, Shy Kicks, S-H-I space K-I-C-K-S. You already know the Facebook page is Shy. Everything Shy. Um, TikTok, everything Shy. Clubhouse, everything Shy. The Instagram is a fan page for you. That's everything Shy as well. The summer is ending, and I'm happy to get to the next season, the new, the next chapter of my life, because last summer I went from a size 56 men jeans, like, to now I'm in a size 42 men jeans. I'm in a 2X shirt. Yeah, last summer I bought a size 5X shirt, a 5X shirt. I'm in a 2X shirt. I've been enjoying this summer, and I'm sorry that I'm not sorry that that's the reason you have not seen me, but a few times this summer. That's because you don't follow me across social media. Um, yeah, yeah, but I am proud to say that I actually enjoyed this summer. I, for the first time as an adult, enjoyed this summer. I mean, I didn't complain about the heat. I was telling people it's summer, it's supposed to be hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I was out there room walking and running in that heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I went all summer not wearing a belt or anything with belt loops or a button around the waist. Felt good. I went all summer wearing a pair of socks only once. Felt good. I went all summer wearing ball shorts and elastic waist shorts. Yeah, felt good. Um, I went all summer not owning not one pair of pants until Thursday. I bought my first pants Thursday. <sighs> yeah. Um, got a couple pair of dress pants and a couple, couple pair of jeans. So I'm ready for, I'm getting ready for the fall. Um, I wore long pants the other day for the first time. That felt good to be in a size 42 jeans for the first time in years. Um, I felt good. Oh, speaking of, I am two sizes away from what was my goal weight. I'm in a 42 right now. My goal weight was my old size, which was a 38. If you have been on my Instagram, then you have seen old pictures of me in smaller size, in a size 38 jeans. I'm in a size 42 today. That's two sizes larger than my old goal weight. Now, I, my, I don't have a goal weight anymore yet. My skin removal surgery is scheduled for next year. Um, University of Pennsylvania. Um, I... And just losing as much weight as I can until then, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm still a foodie. I'm still a foodie. I brought a whole cake Thursday or Friday. I brought a whole cake Friday. It was going Sunday. I'm by myself. Round raisin cake. That's on Facebook. You want to see that? Raisin cake from ShopRite. It, it was really good to um, eat the whole cake by myself. Two days. I'm still a foodie. Still a foodie, so I'm not ready to get the skin removal surgery yet because um, I'm still eating like crazy. Yet, I've made a lifestyle change, obviously. But um, I thank you for watching this video. I thank you for watching all of my videos. And while I'm here, let me tell you the reason why I started this YouTube channel.
my birthday's coming really soon. My birthday is September 23rd. Everything shot birthday is September 23rd. Everything shot was created September 23rd, 2019. I'm almost three. I'll be three in a couple days. Um, started this channel in a Facebook page to hold myself accountable in front of the world. Um, I was 500 pounds, 500 plus pounds. I don't remember exactly the exact number because my weight has been up and down over the last four years. More up than down. I would start something, like I would go to work and buy a bunch of fruit and not even eat it. You know, go spend money now on Uber Eats. And it was like, shot. you said you were going to start this diet, but you never started. So I turned on the camera and told the world, I'm going to start this apple cider vinegar. I'm going to try this. So I'm going to lose this weight. I'm, I'm dying. You know, I can't even wipe my backside. That's where I started at. And I did it because I felt like if I'm doing it in front of the world, I can't cheat the world. I can't tell you I'm doing this to lose weight. Yet I'm getting bigger because I'm in here eating Uber Eats. So, I cut off the Uber Eats and I kept doing the healthy stuff. And here I am three years later, still sitting before you. Only smaller me sitting before you. Feels good. Um, I've come a long way. And yet, there's still so far to go. Like, after the weight loss, come skin removal surgery because you don't want to walk around like this forever. I showed my Fuka on Facebook and Instagram the other day. Um, I think I put it here. Yeah, I put it here. I finally put it over here. I put it over here for y'all to see too, my fupa. You go on Facebook, there's another video of me on Facebook showing you the front view of the fupa. Um, y'all got this side view. Um, feels good. Definitely feels good. I love living on camera. I do. Um, we're going on a cruise next month. I'm taking you guys on a cruise next month. Don't ask no questions, please. Don't ask me where we're going. Just come along for the Boeing Voyage. <laughs> for the Boeing Voyage. The Boeing Voyage. Boing! 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 <laughs> um, yeah, thank y'all. Um, we, we're getting older. We're getting older together. You know, I do got some more videos coming for y'all. <sighs> Celebrity world is going down. I want to say I'll see y'all tomorrow. How about that? Tuesday. Are you ready for me tomorrow, bro? Huh? Because I'm going to be ready for you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but whatever he moved me to talk about is what we're going to talk about. All right? I thank you for watching. Happy Monday. Happy whatever day it is you're watching this. Please feel free to follow me on other platforms. Definitely check out that sneaker channel shy kicks on youtube i will have links for y'all to get your percentage off of your sneakers um the amazon store all that stuff coming um shout out to my nephew so supportive so supportive so supportive yo we gotta support our young men we gotta support our youth, we gotta support our future we gotta support the next generation if it's nothing but a Hey, how are you today? Yeah, you gotta do that. Not a hey, how are you today? Yeah, you you know, you know, it's a hey, how are you today? And you wait for that response. Yeah. They need that. You could be saving a life, either theirs or someone else's, you know. Um, I'm gonna leave you on that note. Stay up. And keep your eyes open. That's all I got. Again, thank y'all for watching. See y'all tomorrow. Real rap.